Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Cora. I am the K in SK Dance Sports. Today we are going to be filling a special request video from one of our subscribers. Uh, the subscriber had uh, mentioned that she was having difficulty understanding how the lady's position is supposed to fit within movement and also asked me for a few different exercises on what she can do to develop her position. So I decided to do a video specifically about ladies' position in standard dancing. Ladies' position in standard dancing is actually kind of odd. It's, it's very, very strange. And especially with the style that Simi and I dance, it's really strange. So if it sounds funny to you, just go with it. Just trust me on it. And trust that this is how it actually fits together. Remember that ladies' position in standard is not supposed to look good on its own. It's supposed to look good in partnership. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go into a few details. When it comes to ladies' position, there are a couple of different styles. Yeah, um, on, on the in the description below, I'm going to link to a blog post that I did on our website www.skdancesport.com, specifically about the four main styles of standard dancing and how they fit together in what we call the standard pyramid. But for now, we're going to stick with the specific style that Simi and I do. We call it the body style. The body style of dancing is specifically a very flexible style of dancing. So the lower body and the upper body can twist off of each other. So the upper body can fit one set of rules while the lower body fits a completely different set of rules. So the position that I'm going to give you today, the position that I have used in dancing, is really good for body style dancing. It's also very good for if you happen to have a height difference with your partner, which Simeon and I do. Yeah, you may not know this about me, but I am small, I'm short. So I needed a body position that's going to allow me to move big across the floor, that's going to allow my hips to be free so that I could actually get a bigger stretch with my legs, right? But it's also going to allow me to keep a good position with Simeon. And because I am small, I'm not able to have a big layout this direction. Yeah, I'm not able to have the, the hips forward and the body back like some positions do. There's nothing wrong with that style, it just doesn't work for me specifically. So what I'm gonna show you today is what works for me, what's going to work for a lot of girls that are in my situation. In other words, you are at least six inches shorter than your partner. I happen to be seven inches shorter than my partner. Um, and so it allows the body to be able to act more freely so that you can have a more free movement and freer swing across the dance floor. Okay, so let's go through a few principles of this body position. The first thing that we talk about is the S-curve. Okay, you heard me right, the S-curve. So the lady's body is going to be in a curve of an S. All right, so this is how I'll show it to you from the front and from the back. So the first thing is that, and I'll start by standing on my left foot to show it to you. The first thing is that we, we dance with the idea that the right hip is lifted, okay? So the right hip is gonna be higher than the left. At the same time, we're gonna take our rib cage and we're gonna move it to the left off of our hips, yeah? So this is straight, okay? This is with the right hip slightly up and this is with my, left rib, my ribs moved off to the left. Then the last thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna take my, my upper rib cage, my shoulders, and straighten it out. Okay, so now when I'm dancing in this position, you're gonna see that actually my left side is stretched and long and my right side is, is short and curved. So that's what I mean by the S curve. It kind of has a curve this way, curve this way. Now the last thing is that the head doesn't go back at all. The head simply moves to the left. So I always tell my students, if you can put your hands above your head and you move your head sideways like this, yeah, then you're gonna go left and turn. And that's where the head goes. So it's not too far to the left. It's not straying backwards. I'm not doing something like this with my neck. I'm just shifting my head to the left, yeah? So as you can see, my legs, this, this, what this body position does is it allows me to keep my legs in front of my partner. This way I have a full swing of motion with my partner. So my legs are in front of my partner. 
Now by lifting my right hip, that gives him a point of connection with my body. We don't worry about the left hip, but we wanna connect with the right hip, okay? Now by taking my rib cage out to the left, now this starts to give us that left leaning uh, position with our spine so that I can actually have my head way left as well. And then my head goes even more. Okay, but now we still have a problem. My shoulders are not straight. Yeah, if Simi comes and puts his arm on my back, he's gonna complain that my side is down. So in order to fix that, I have to now take my upper back and go like that. So I straighten out my frame like this, okay? Now the last thing is that we've talked about this a little bit. My hands are in front of me, both hands. And because I'm short, both of my hands are high up. So we're not talking about hand at the level of the shoulder. For Simi and me, that would be way too low. Simi and shoulders up there, yeah? So I have to put my hand at almost the level of my eyes, okay? Then this hand has to go even higher. So if we imagine that when he's in his frame, his hand is about the level of his eyes, that means that my hand is at the level of his eyes. So my right hand goes way up here, my left hand goes about the level of my own eyes, then I'm gonna go hip, ribs, shoulders, head, okay? So I'll show you that from the back as well. So from the back, okay, this is starting neutral position. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lift my right hip. I'm gonna take my rib cage and stretch it to the left. I'm going to take my upper, upper rib cage, in other words, my shoulders, and tilt it in. Hands go up, head goes left, and there's my position. Now, this does take a little bit of getting used to because no matter what we do in standard dancing, we want to maintain that right hip up. So whether I'm going forward or backward. So if I move forward to you, my right hip starts up. Now, when I move forward to you, I'm gonna go forward, but you can see that my right hip is still up. I haven't allowed that hip to neutralize, okay? Same thing if I'm going backwards, okay? So if I show you from the back, I get into my position. When I'm moving backwards, as I take my step, my right hip has to stay picked up. I haven't allowed that hip to neutralize. So this would be a neutral hip. That would be with the right hip up, okay? Same thing if I go from side to side. So a couple of good exercises would be just to get into that position and walk forward and walk back in that position. You can also go from side to side. So when I move from side to side, there, you have to have a certain uh, thought process in mind. So my movement goes like this. If I get to my position, if I just do it like this so I get used to having the right hip up and the rib cage off to the left, okay? When I'm moving off to my right, I wanna make sure that I'm moving from the hip. So as I take a step, my right hip goes out to the side, then I close. Right hip goes out to the side and close. Right hip goes out to the side and close. Right hip goes out to the side and close. If I move now to the left, I wanna make sure that my right hip stays out there and my rib cage goes left. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Rib cage goes left, but I leave the right hip and close. Rib cage moves left and close. Rib cage moves left and close. Rib cage moves left and close. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move in place, yeah? Well, I'm gonna move that shoulder width apart to start with, so again, right hip out, and left rib cage stretch, and I'm gonna go right to the side, left to the side, right to the side, left to the side. And notice how as I'm moving, I'm, when I move to my right, I'm thinking about right hip moves off my foot, now my left rib cage moves out to the side, so I'm gonna go right and left and right and left and if i do this in place it looks like right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left so no matter where i'm moving i'm going to be able to keep this position with my body that right hip lifted up now some of you might be asking, what about promenade position? And the answer is promenade position, we keep the right hip up. We don't allow it to drop. This is a really common mistake that I see with a lot of our female students, that as they go to promenade, their hips do that. Okay, but now what you notice is that the moment that my hips swing, it means that my head is going to tip into the man's face. So there's a really important principle that you have to remember here. Your spine, needs balance. So if you think of it like a baton or a, you know, a, any other pole, okay? 
this pole, this, the pole of our spine is going to go from the very base of our tailbone in a, a vertebrae that's called the coccyx all the way up to the tip top of our head, okay? Now these two parts of the pole, they have to stay within balance of each other and we have a very simple way to see this, okay? If I want to go and touch the ground, I have to stick my hips out behind me in order to touch the ground because my hips, my butt cheeks, counterbalance the weight of my head. My head is quite heavy. So it's counterbalancing the weight of my head. So the more forward I want my head to go, the more back my hips have to go. Same thing if I go the other direction. So if my head is going to go back, my hips have to go forward in order to counterbalance. So this is the way that our weights work. Same thing if I go to the side. So if I want to send my head left, I need my hip to go right in order to balance. If my hip starts to slip left, then my head will naturally go right in order to balance. And here is the crux of our position. We want to maintain this no matter what we do. Whether we're going forward and backwards in closed position, or we're both facing the same direction and moving in promenade, we're still trying to maintain this position. So when we're trying to maintain this position, it means that even in promenade position, I have to have this hip up and this side stretch. So this might be my closed position, but this is also my promenade position. Okay, so you can see that my right hip is still up. When I step out into promenade, my right hip is still up because I'm still trying to keep my head and the weight of my head back out to the, to the left of my frame, to the right of the man's frame. Okay, let me demonstrate this with Simeon so that you understand how this fits together with the man. All right guys, so, uh, as Simon and I were just discussing this, he said to me, oh, it's a little bit weird, I don't really teach that. And I said, I don't teach all that. Yeah, it's because he's not a girl. I teach a left curve, but uh, it's a little... All of the other stuff, it sounds so strange from a guy's yeah, point of view. Honestly, it's true though, on, on your own, it looks really weird, but when you're moving and with a partner, it looks fine. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna put it together piece by piece so you guys can see how it all fits together, and then I'll show you how we get into frame a couple of times. So, to start with, as we're going in, so Simeon is just going to stand with his weight on his uh, right foot. So what I'm going to do is this. Okay, if I stand next to Simeon, I told you, I'm small. I'm really short. Yeah? Seven inches shorter than Simeon. Okay? So what that means, even if we look at our hips, you see my hip height is like way down here. <laughs> Yeah? So what that means is that in order for my hips to kind of level out to his, I have to lift my, now he is going to bend his knees, but I need to lift my right hip up to him as well in order to create that connection point. Okay, so as we go into position together, I'm going to lift the right hip into place. So now he feels a connection with my, my pelvis, so that as we start to dance together, I can swing my hip with him. This is part of what I use in order to follow, okay? So that's the purpose of this hip. Now, because that hip is there, I also don't want to stay right in front of them. I need to get out to the left. Remember that we want to try to create as much distance between our heads as possible. So I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move my rib cage to the left. But then, as you can see, my shoulders are tilted. So it's a knot. Okay? So what I need to do is I need to take my shoulders and tilt them back again so that my shoulders are straight. Now, the last thing is my head is going to shift left. Okay, now we're gonna just walk from side to side, okay? And as I take each walk, I'm readjusting the muscles that I'm using to maintain my position. So when I walk to my right, which is his left, I send my right hip to my right. When I walk to the left, I send my rib cage to the left. Now, Simi just does a quick swing to promenade so we can show the promenade position. So you see in this position here, yeah, if we go back one step, Okay, I'm keeping my right hip lifted. If I do that, you see how that changes my position now. Actually, he just even lost his balance slightly. So I need to go... Because to me, there's a little bit of counterbalance. I go this way, she actually... So yeah, I feel like I'm in a... I'm not off balance on my own, but I have this energy going to my left, and she has the energy going to my arm, so we feel very stable. As soon as she collapses in, yeah, it's like... <laughs> the whole partnership goes. goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if we do that one more time, so I can show you guys what my promenade looks like. So I'm going to get into position one piece at a time. So first I do hip, stretch, shoulders, head, and now I place my arms down. When I turn to promenade, lift, lift, lift the right hip. And now as we step out in promenade, I send my right hip forward. This is exactly what keeps me back here. 
even as we start to step through to the next step, I'm going to keep my right hip forward and up. That's probably the most difficult part about promenade position is working that right hip forward and up to the man as we're walking through a promenade. It's very difficult and I will say, I'll confess, not very comfortable, but looks nice on the outside. All right guys, I hope this uh, short video was helpful for you guys. Like I said, ladies position is odd, especially for those of us ladies who do body style dancing, especially when we're little and we're trying to move as big as our big partners next to us. I'm not that big, but yeah. Compared to me, he is. <laughs> little bit, little bit, yeah, bigger difference in height than That's right. a typical couple. That's right. So I use this position in order to free up my ability to move across the floor. This is exactly what allows me to create big swing, big movements, and big sways. If you guys like this video, please remember to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there and the bell button will give you notifications on whenever we do new videos and post them up. You can also visit us on our other social media sites. We are on Instagram at SK Danceport and on Twitter at SK Danceport. We are also on Facebook, facebook.com slash SK Danceport. We also have a paid uh, platform on Vimeo, it's vimeo.com slash Aria Ballroom, which is the name of our brick and mortar dance studio in Redmond, Washington. <laughs> and we, on our Vimeo website, we have a lot of courses for um, newcomer through gold level, syllabus invigilator friendly routines for all 19 dances. We go into detail about all of those routines and they are syllabus friendly. You'll be able to dance up at any um, closed competition. It doesn't matter what your federation is. You will be allowed to dance these routines there. So that's definitely a good place for you if you're looking for an actual um, a routine to put together and work on. All right, guys, thank you so much. Let us know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll definitely get back to you on that. Send us an email if you have any other specific videos that you'd like us to do, and we will see you guys next time. Behind that little smile I wore.